Hi, I'm Dr. Mettler. I'm a physician. Now, I didn't go to one of them fancy medical schools to get one of them fancy degrees. Some doctors rely on their tuition. I rely on my intuition. Now, all you need to practice medicine, just like the pros, is a good heart, access to pills, a sharp knife, and a few tips from me, Dr. Mettler. Welcome. This is Dr. Mettler's Guide to DIY Medicine. Now, today, I'm going to walk you through the three tenets of medicine. Pills, tracheotomies, and suppositories. That's right, goofballs, necks, and butts. Now, there are three main types of pills you should know about. First up, cocaine. It helps you by taking your boring nights and turning that fun dial to an 11. Main side effect, though, is you may become too cool. Next up, Viagra. These pills help you for what we in the medical profession call your boners. Main side effect? Makes sleeping face down difficult. Third, we have gobstoppers. These pills help you with the lack of deliciousness in your life. The main side effect? They could be too everlasting. Next up, tracheotomies. Now the word tracheotomy comes from two Latin words. Trache meaning throat, and otomy, meaning stabby. Tracheotomies are important. If your head is a drug-fueled 24-hour rave in an abandoned warehouse, your neck is the light outside. And it's as easy as that. There's absolutely nothing else to learn. Just stab and wait for gratitude. Now remember, it's important that your victim, I mean patient, needs a tracheotomy. If not, congratulations, you just stabbed a guy in the throat. You're going to jail, buster. Now this all brings me to our third and final tenet of medicine. And here's a hint. It's the type that goes up the butt. Suppository comes from two fancy Latin words. Suppose meaning up, and tori, meaning the butt. Now the best way to administer a suppository is with this, an old-fashioned blow dart gun. This will get the pill up the butt in record time. I'm sorry, I, I, I fart when I get nervous. That's okay. I fart when I get confident. Here comes the suppository. <laughs> and don't forget the water. <laughs> and that, my friends, is how you too can become a doctor. Now don't be shy. Practice on your friends and neighbors. And don't leave your family pet out of all the fun too. Little guy might just get jealous. And remember to practice on your roommate while he's asleep. Remember, the only way to have a medical practice, after all, is to practice. Because being a doctor isn't just about the lives you save. It's about the memories you make along the way. <laughs>